A couple of co-workers got me fired while I was going through a breakup. It was my time to shine. This happened last Thursday. I was working on a job that we had been on for about two months now. I'm a plumbing apprentice, so typically you aren't supposed to be on your phone on the job. However, I was going through a pretty nasty breakup, and I was upset about it. I wasn't on my phone too much though, I only responded a few times when I had a minute to do so, and I took one phone call that lasted all of two minutes, basically just to defuse the situation for the time being so I could deal with the situation after work. I thought nothing of this, because my coworkers were on their phones throughout the day too. They always more or less moved at their own pace and did as they pleased so as long as the boss or his son wasn't around. The difference between us is, they felt like they were untouchable because they were all also close friends with the boss's son, but you wouldn't know it given the amount of time they spent making fun of the guy, both in texts and in person. Also on this particular breakup day, the guys decided to take an hour and a half lunch, our lunches are only supposed to be 30 minutes long. This wasn't anything out of the ordinary though, as they've taken lunches anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour long every day since we had been on this particular job. Okay, that's cool. So I left the job site in a separate truck as two of the other guys that I worked with, a few minutes behind them because I was talking to the general contractor for a minute before I left. So when I got back to the shop, I see the two other guys walking away to their cars, and I parked and went to clock out. Before I could do so, the boss's son pulled me aside and said the two guys that had just left said I hadn't done anything all day, not true, I was running water lines by myself, and I've only been doing this for less than a year, so my speed obviously isn't crazy fast. He said they also told him I was on my phone all day, which also was not true. He told me my check would be there in the morning but I no longer have a job. I was angry and upset so I just walked out and drove home. I could have left it at that, but I was out for blood at this point. I sent both the boss and his son a detailed message telling them how their employees on this job have been effing off the entire time. I told him about the hour plus long lunches, the phone use on their end, the fact that they would often just stand around on the job site and talk to each other, and the general day to day BSing they would do when the boss wasn't there, which was a lot. To top it off, I told the boss's son separately about all the ish talking they do on him. How they say he's dating AB, they don't like hanging out with him outside of work, and they're all going to quit when the business goes to him. Oh, and I included some screenshots of little BS they said about him in a group text a few weeks prior, just for added pettiness. He said okay, thanks. When I went to the shop the next day, I found my check on the desk, next to screenshots of my texts that had been printed out with several copies for the guys to read. My face lit up with the most evil grin imaginable. I called my only friend I had at this job. He told me the guys that had been on the job with me looked like ghosts when the boss's son handed them those texts. I also found out one of the guys was apparently already on thin ice, had no clue, and he got fired as well. I guess since he was the guy's friend, but also only an apprentice, he found that he was more disposable than he thought. He also told me the boss's son told them he would fire anybody, and not to think it wouldn't happen to them too. Also a strict no phone policy was implemented. Since then I've found a new, better paying, job, and I left a dumpster fire in my wake. A woman scorned in a smelly jacket. When I was 18 my friend, we'll call her Amy, was dating this guy, we'll call him Jack, for a little while. Jack was 17 and used to be able to get into some of the pubs and clubs with us without ID and he attributed that to a jacket which he believed made him look older. Anyway, Jack is seemingly really into Amy, putting a lot of effort in yada 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 and then drops her like a hot potato as soon as they have sex for the first and only time. Amy is understandably pissed off and realizes that she has his beloved jacket in her car, which Jack finally broke his silent treatment to text her asking for it back. So, Amy and I went down to Tesco, bought two little prawns and took them back home. We then created the tiniest hole in the lining of the jacket at each of the wrists and popped a prawn in each arm then sewed the lining back up. Amy then kindly left the jacket at Jack's front door for him. I had recently read about a woman who had put prawns in the curtain poles of her ex-husband's house so he'd struggle to sell it because the smell was so bad. It is a shame that we didn't get to see the results of our petty revenge, but we did see him out a few times wearing the jacket and I know it would have been glorious, would love to have watched him as his favorite jacket started to hum. Thanks for watching and don't forget to give a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Have a good one.